Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bucket. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. Um, I'm going to get into Johnny Fisher and Alan Babbitt, which would be a pretty bad heavyweight fight. Uh, two guys I'm not in love with. I think there's a clear winner in this fight. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3 Boxing, 3 Boxing Blog. Uh, follow me on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, showing you how to bring down the house, how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. Uh, guys, join the Patreon as well. Link is in the description. Link is in the description. Um, as always, get the lock of the week. Again, we hit the lock of the week again last week. Uh, that's four weeks out of five. Uh, that's standard. Uh, get the lock of the week. Uh, the, lo the lock of the week is going to consistently make you money. Um, it's just five dollars a month. It gets you asked to book anything, handicap a fight. It also gives you uh, access to all different types of prop bets and parlays that aren't available when I release these videos, uh, like this Johnny Fisher video. There's no, there's no props on it yet. Uh, so if you want to get those, you have to join the Patreon. Just five dollars a month. And you're gonna want to do that. Uh, but before we get, uh, also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Alan Babic and, and Johnny Fisher. This is the uh, next gen, they call it. Um, Alan Babic, Babich, Babich, Savage, Babbage, Babbage, right? Babbage, the Savage Babbage. That's how you pronounce that. He's 33 years old. He's 12 and 1. He just got destroyed about a year ago to Lucas Rosansky in Poland in an embarrassment of a loss in a fight. He should have, shouldn't have even been competitive. Um, Rosansky is, is a prospect. He's 15. It was 14 at the time. He's 15 and one. Now he, he's since gotten destroyed by a Coley in one round. This is not a, a fight that should be competitive. This is not a, a fight that Babbitt should have. If, if he was what they were making him out to be, should have even been competitive. Uh, I'm not a Babbitt's fan. He, he throws a lot of looping shots. He, he's come forward. He he doesn't jab enough for my liking. He he wants to fight on the inside. You know, they call him a savage, and, and it's kind of representative of his style. He, he doesn't jab enough. He, he throws on the inside. He throws wide. He gets wild. He probably has a questionable chin. You know, look, it's the heavyweight division. Anyone can get knocked out. But the loss to Rosensky, I mean, is really, really bad. Rosensky is a guy, obviously, it, look, it looks like he has power, 15 wins, 14 knockouts. But he's not that big of a hitter. Um, Babbitt is always working the inside. If you can keep him at the outside, you can have him. He gets hit a lot. He, like I said, he's super wild. Good power, but not nothing sensational. Uh, Fisher ap appears to be the bigger hitter, honestly. He throws hard and he commits to his shots, and and he's got you no know, decent volume, but it's it just it's so flawed. He's so easy to hit. He's so wide open. There's no jab. He doesn't work his way in. He he just swings wild, and he's in front of you to be hit. And he's gonna get tagged. And he's gonna get outboxed by Johnny Fisher. Johnny Fisher, big strong guy, 6'4", 240, 11 and 0, 10 knockouts. I, I don't think he's a great prospect, but he's clearly the better prospect here. Come forward. He rips body shots. He, he's, a, he's a big power hitter. Throws everything hard. He's a terrific body puncher. He's a good finisher. He's just much more finely tuned. He's a much better boxer. He's much better on the outside. He can win a fight on the outside or the inside. Uh, he's he got a jab. He's going to win the battle of the jabs. He fights behind a low guard, which I don't love. Um, he, he's not as athletic as he thinks he is, and, and he can get tagged, uh, which is why I don't think he's a great fighter. He stays near and slow. Um, he's straight up and down. Throws nice shots, though. He, he, offensively, he throws some nice shots. Nice lead left hook. Uh, you know, decent volume for, for a guy at 6'4", 240. He, there's some athleticism and fluidity to him, but he, he thinks he's Sonny Edwards moving, and, and, and he's not, right? And he's slow a little bit, but there's some fluidity to him. And you'll see what I mean when, when, when you see him. Uh, good power on both hands, good body punches. There, there's stuff to definitely like about Johnny Fisher. I, I really can't say that about Babbage. I think once Babbage really starts to step up in competition, all he's going to start losing. And we saw that in, in a fight he should have never lost. Absolutely never lost. Um, it's just 
that was too loopy, too wild, too funny, too easy to hit. He's just too flawed. Uh, let's take a look at the odds of on this fight. Let's see how we're going to make money. I, I don't love the odds on this fight. I thought they were going to be closer. Uh, they are not close, uh, which is probably reasonable. Johnny Fisher's at minus 650. This is probably a good bet to add to a parlay. Minus 650. Uh, a one times bet is only going to make you 15.38. Not a ton of money on this, but we can parlay this and we can add this to other things. I think it's fairly safe. Um, you know, I, I don't know that I would throw this in, in my lock. You know, Johnny Fisher could get caught, he could get hit. Babbage has enough power to hurt him, but it, for my money, Johnny Fisher is going to win this fight. Yeah, but again, he's slow and he's slow and he thinks he's more athletic and more fluid and, and, he, and he thinks he's more athletic and he's slicker than he, than he really is because he's not. Because he's not. So I like Fisher to win. I don't know that it's a lock. I don't love this bet. Um, I, I think the odds, honestly, I thought, although I thought they were going to be closer, if you were asking me to handicap this fight, I would make Johnny Fisher at least a minus 500. I don't think minus 650 is, is unreasonable, although I just think it's a little on the high side. Um, so that's the bet. Johnny Fisher is going to win minus 650 on the money line. I think he wins by stoppage. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in the ticker below. Um, it, get, it just follows a month. We'll, we'll take a look at the props. And I, I think Johnny Fisher by stoppage is, is a better bet. I, I do think Johnny Fisher is going to stop him because uh, Babbage is just so easy to hit. So let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, uh, 3D Boxing blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, the boxing book comes at you for every single major fight. So you have to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. It is June 30th, 2024 from Texas to the world. Thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.